Welcome to the Joe's tutorial for minor rebuild of the JSK 37 series fifth wheel. In this video we will cover the disassembly, reassembly, and initial adjustment setup to complete the minor rebuild. Please note this procedure can be completed without removing the fifth wheel from the tractor. Start the disassembly by closing the locking mechanism. Pull the release handle out and swing the lock jaw closed. Now let the release handle slide slowly to the closed position. Remove the double coil spring using a suitable tool to remove the spring from the casting lug first. Now open the locking mechanism by sliding the release handle to the open position. Remove the circle ring securing the lock jaw spring and allow the extension spring to relax. Next, remove the cushion ring and retainer. Remove the four cushion ring bolts using a 5 16 Allen head wrench. Then pry the cushion ring retainer from the casting and remove the cushion ring. Now remove the lock jaw pivot pin. Thread one of the cushion ring bolts into the lock jaw pivot pin and lift the pin from the casting. Finally, remove the lock jaw by reaching under the top plate and sliding the lock out of the casting. Remove the lubrication line from the lock jaw. To begin the reassembly process, start by installing the lubrication line. Now install the lock jaw, making sure to install the jaw in the same orientation it was removed. Next, install the circle ring. Place the end of the eye bolt through the casting rib and secure it with the circle ring. Lubricate the lock jaw pivot pin and secure the jaw by inserting it into the casting through the slot in the lock jaw. Now install the cushion ring and retainer. Carefully line up the bolt holes and then install four new cushion ring bolts. Tighten and torque the bolts to 45 foot-pounds. To complete the reassembly process, close the locking mechanism. Pull the release handle out and swing the lock jaw into the closed position. Now attach the double coil spring using a suitable tool to attach the spring as shown. To adjust the unit after disassembly, follow this procedure. If the adjustment screw has been removed, the screw should be initially set so the tip of the lock bar is flush with this part of the casting. Then follow the adjustment testing procedure with a lock tester. Adjust the lock as necessary and repeat to confirm proper adjustment. First, rock the handle forward and back, checking for movement in the lock. The lock is adjusted properly if there is no fore and aft movement. Then, disengage the hook and rotate the tester. The lock is adjusted correctly if the arm rotates freely with no fore and aft movement. If it is too tight, the front of the lock tester is above the top plate. Remember, proper adjustment is the combination of no fore and aft movement and free side to side rotation. If adjustment is needed, use the following procedure. To tighten the adjustment, loosen the jam nut and turn the adjustment screw one full turn counterclockwise and retest. Repeat as necessary and retighten the jam nut when finished. Remember, always turn the adjustment screw counterclockwise to tighten. Use care not to turn the wrong direction as this can damage the release arm. Here's why. The release arm is captured at the pivot on the bottom and the release handle at the top. Turning the wrong direction will bend the release arm. If the release arm is bent, the handle will not fall off the notch when coupling. For more information on this or any Jost product, please see our website at www.jostinternational.com.